The Lymington and Warwick Tramways and Omnibus Company operated a tramway service between Warwick and Lymington Spa between 1881 and 1930. Topic history From 1872 various tramway projects were considered until the Lymington Tramways Order of 1879 was granted. The Lymington and Warwick Tramways and Omnibus Company Limited was registered on 18 February 1880. On 14 May 1881 they signed a contract with John Fell of Lymington for the construction of the line. On 17 November 1880, the work was completed. The cost of construction had been £14,800, equivalent to £1,370,000 in 2016. The line ran from outside the Lord Leicester Hospital, through Jury Street, Smith Street, and Emscote Road over the River Avon into Lemington, along Warwick Street, down the parade, and through to Lemington Spa Railway Station. It opened for passengers on 21 November 1881. It was a single track line with two tracks on Smith Street in Warwick, and additional passing loops and line into stables at Coton End. There were seven trams operating a 13-minute headway service. Four were Metropolitan cars, two were Brown Marshall and one was ex-Birmingham Tramways Company. Topic. Electric operation The company was obtained by Brush Electric Traction in 1900 and the Warwick Tramways Order of 1900 and Lymington Tramways Order of 1901 allowed for electrification. The company rebuilt the tramway in 1905 and replaced the horse cars with electric-powered vehicles. The company took the opportunity to double-track most the line. The power station was built specially for the tramway conversion. The electric service started on 12 July 1905. In 1912 the Tramway and Lighting Company was purchased by Balfour Beatty & Company who rapidly expanded the latter into the Midland Light & Power Company. Topic fleet The company livery was green and cream. 1-6 brush cars 1905-7-1-2 brush cars 1905 purchased from the Taunton Tramways 14 Balfour Beatty and Company 1921 No. 7 was damaged beyond repair in an accident on 3 January 1916 when it ran away and crashed into the Warwick Arms. On closure in 1930, No. 11 was sold to the Landidno and Colwyn Bay Electric Railway. The remains of No. 11 were last seen in 1956 by John Price on the closure of the LNCBET. Topic. Surviving trams Horse Car 1 survives at the National Tramway Museum in an unrestored condition. Topic. Closure The system was closed on 16 August 1930.